Welcome back to the Church on a Mission video series and today we're looking at Acts 13 um, and from verse 47 of Acts 13 it says this For this is what the Lord has commanded us I have made you a light for the Gentiles that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth So, so this is Paul and Barnabas mm -hmm. um, speaking to a bunch of people in Antioch and they're saying this is what God's commanded us be a light and kind of go you may bring sal so that you can bring salvation to the ends of the earth so I don't know about you Becky I, I kind of look at this and I think going to the ends of the earth is quite a big massive yeah. meaty yeah. journey and mission right I, I, I guess I don't know for some of us I know that it can be quite tricky to to go where do I fit into this and what some of I, it can stop us right yeah um I don't know what, you, how, what your experience of that is. Have there been barriers in your life that have stopped you being that, like, because of the size of it or, or what? I think there's that, yeah, I think you can become lazy, can't you, when you think, lazy, oh, yeah. actually, that's too hard, so I won't start. Yeah, so I think yeah. I, I grew up in Church of England, so you, you um, grew up around missionaries, like proper people who went abroad and <laughs> yeah. did like proper missionary, yeah. and therefore you were like, oh, I don't tick that box, so I'm not part of that yeah. world. But then I think when you heard more of their stories, you realised, oh, they were just doing like normal jobs in another country. Mm. And then we're like, oh, I know quite a few people who've gone off to another country. We've got some guys in church now who are moving abroad, and yeah. you're like, oh, so that's kind of like being a missionary. Oh, okay, well, maybe if I just move jobs in Bracknell or in Sandhurst or mm -hmm. maybe that, you know, equally is an opportunity yeah. for us. And so I think for me, I've always been quite um, excited by the fact that, oh, I can do it here. And I think I cottoned mm -hmm. onto that pretty soon because I thought, oh, I don't think I'm going to go abroad. Um, and then we, when we were stuck around, it stayed in Bracknell, we thought, actually, this is the place where we, we can make the most difference. Yeah. And I think that passage is about, you know, Actually, the exciting thing is if we're, we're all making a difference where we are, then we're all in different places. Yeah. And actually, if you did a whole map of Bracknell and Santos and looked where everybody who comes to Kerith is, we'd be like, wow, that's amazing, all the interactions. Mm, and so it, it's so good, isn't it? When yeah. you hit the carol concerts at Christmas and you look at the people that come in, you think, oh, I know them from, like, I know, I know them from the swimming mums or I know yeah. them from a toddler group or I've seen them before you know it might be the person who serves you in the pharmacy and you think well I never knew they knew someone who knew and yeah. it gives you that sense of oh god god knows where these people are and and he puts us in the place where we can be you know make a difference where we are with that person mm. you, know, you used the phrase equally you know and I think that's so true to know that it's it's not that somebody who may go to another country is is a better Christian yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Actually, some of us are called to go overseas yeah. and do what we do overseas. Yeah. And some of us are called to, to be in the country that we're born yeah. in. And um, I heard it say somebody recently, somebody said recently, um, uh, go where you're sent, stay where you're put and use what you've got. Yeah, that's good. And, and I think, I think I, I just love that. Yeah. And I think as we embrace that, we can, yeah. we can be that like on these. It's great.